What is white Zinfandel? Is it different than red Zinfandel? Stay tuned and find out. What is white Zinfandel? It's one of the most popular wines, or uh, was one of the most popular wines sold in the U.S. for quite some time. Uh, it was actually started by this company, uh, Sutter Home, back in the 70s. Zinfandel is actually a red grape. Uh, some people aren't even aware of that. So I guess the question really should be, what is red Zinfandel? But it uh, starts as a red grape. It's actually a very hearty, dry, rich red grape. Uh, white Zinfandel comes from those red grapes, but what they do is they skim off some of the wine after only a short contact with the skins of the grapes. Exactly like you would make a rosé, which we've talked about in previous video. Uh, the, one of the major differences with white Zinfandel and rosés in general is that white Zinfandels tend to be on the sweeter side. Uh, so this, the story goes that back in the 70s when Sutter Home was trying to make actually a very rich, very dry, deep red Zinfandel, they had the idea to take some of the juice off of the skins before uh, early on in the process so that the rest of the juice would be less juice in contact with more skins and hopefully producing a deeper, darker, richer, drier Zinf red Zinfandel. Uh, and so when they took some of that juice off, they decided to bottle it as white Zinfandel. Uh, the, the second kind of accident that they stumbled across during that process is that the fermentation didn't fully go through on the white Zinfandel and that juice that they were selling as white Zinfandel. And so it left the wine a little bit sweeter than it should have been. The yeast usually burns off the sugars to make alcohol. Um, but in this case, it didn't go all the way through, so it still was a little bit sweet. And people started liking it, and they started making more, and other companies jumped in as well and started producing their own. And so a good segment of the wine drinking society of that time, and up until recently, uh, wasn't even aware that red Zinfandel is actually a very dark, uh, very rich, dry red wine. One of the other effects that white Zinfandels had on the American wine consumers was to kind of change their impressions of what pink wines are uh, traditionally. So uh, French, France, French wineries, and even a lot of California wineries for decades before, hundreds of years before, had been producing rosés, which were the dry pink wines. Uh, because of the popularity of white Zinfandel in the U.S., uh, as more and more people became wine drinkers, that was the only pink wine they were familiar with, they started associating pink wines with sweetness. So, in conclusion, uh, what is a white Zinfandel? Uh, basically, it's a sweet version of a rosé made out of Zinfandel grapes. Uh, it's just important to remember that when you walk into your local wine store and you ask for a Zinfandel, don't be surprised if they walk you over and show you a dry red wine. Uh, if you want the white Zinfandel, be sure to specify the word white in front of it. Thank you very much for watching. We really appreciate all the views and the comments and feedback that we've been getting. Uh, we look forward to seeing you soon. Cheers.